Well, hi there, Robin here, and we are going to be talking about the Chefman Multifunction Digital Air Fryer. Now, we're going to be doing some potatoes in it, and then we're going to do an actual hamburger steak in it. So it's going to be something from Frozen. So we're going to do both those in this video. And if you notice just to the right, I do also have my Ninja Double Basket, and I'll just touch on that one a little bit. Now, the very first thing here is these are normally oven roasted, something that would take 90 minutes in the oven. We're going to make them in the air fryer, and we're going to cut that time in half. Now, a little bit in a hurry, so instead of doing it at a lower temperature, like 350 I'm gonna do it at 400 and I'm probably only gonna get there at around 30 minutes maybe it'll be best if I will a little quicker or a little slower but I feel this is pretty comfortable for me now this is important you got to try this and you got to sample it out you got to feel it out a little bit now why do I have this air fryer when I already have an air fryer well that's very important this one is rotisserie in it which is kind of cool I really wanted a rotisserie function and it's for two reasons one to make chicken to make pork and also to make fries in the basket now people don't talk about doing pork and other meats in there but you can do that with the rotisserie and it's really good and it's very fast remember you get to cut the temperature down that's the the cooking temperature and you also cut the time so almost in half it'll say about 40 percent less time and about 25 30 percent less on the heat now here, when I look at the actual original one that I have from Ninja, this one I use a lot too, and this one here, again, double basket. The difference is, is that the basket's a little bit smaller. Even though it's very deep, it's, it's a little bit smaller than the Chefman because of the way the system is designed. But at the same time, I can cook an awful lot in both machines, and what I can do in one, I can still do in the other. Now here, this is the rotisserie basket. This allows me to put the french fries in and walk away. Now the Ninja, you put the fries in every five minutes, you're coming and giving it a good shake. And that's okay, but just remember you have to do that. So the basket's pretty neat. Also, I mean, you can only wash it to a certain degree. Uh, you are just basically soaking it, rubbing it down, getting all that extra grease off. Now the Ninja, because of the design, you can wash that out really, really well. You can get in there, get everything nice and clean, and this way it's like brand new every single time you use it. Now they both do air ventilation the same. Air comes in from the top, goes out the back, and it's not so bad. Now, if you're somebody like me, who's especially with the meshes in the Chefman, I like using these liners. These liners come in very handy. Now, the important thing is these liners don't just work in the Chefman. They also work in the Ninja as well. So if you're doing something and you don't need the air circulation at the bottom, leave the tray in because that kind of gives you a separation for the heat from the bottom. But these liners work perfectly. They're really good if you do want to keep a little bit more of the juice in the actual cook instead of having it drain away. Now they'll both do things like bacon and stuff like that but the actual ninja does it better now these potatoes i probably would have cooked them a little bit lower like 350 probably was best than probably leaving them in for about the same amount of time but i've had them before they do look a little more brown than usual but that's just my fault now here this is going to be hamburger or hamburger steak depending on how you want now this is from frozen this is one of those you know fancy beefs now what i've done is i've actually smeared butter or you can do margarine as well on top then i put my actual seasoning on top of that and then i kind of wipe it all in very important because it's an air fryer the air is going to blow on it if you just season the top of your meat or burger you're just going to have that all blow away it's not going to be there so it's very important and the Eh, there's nothing wrong with a little extra butter on top it's just going to give it all that extra flavor now you could have put olive oil or avocado oil on it and then put your seasoning all that's possible so let's take a look at what's going on the machine is very easy to work you've seen it before it's pretty straightforward the buttons are nice the machine goes to sleep when you're not using it the light goes off when you're not using it but I really like the window. This is the first time without the window you won't see what it looks like inside now this is great it's only been in there for 10 minutes. Now we've actually gotten to pretty much our full cook here. I'm shooting for 175, so we're gonna slide it out now and we're gonna see what it's like. That really only took about, mm, I'm gonna say about 12 to 14 minutes to get all the way. Now, temperature is important, 175, again, because this was from frozen. If it's your own at home, you can decide best for you. So now I'm gonna take the potatoes that I had from before, I'm going to throw my hamburger steak in there. And the only thing that would go better with all of this, of course, is some gravy. So let's just top that off and we'll be all set. There we are. A little gravy. 
lunch is served. That wasn't very long and it's very easy to do. Well, I hope this video helps you out in your buying soon today. I think these things are fun, great, good for all kinds of stuff. <laughs>